There's no way I could grab this thing without learning the zombie, right? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! He... he's alive and... he took off into the ceiling somewhere! Alright, we have returned yet again to some more Red Colony by popular demand. Which leads me to believe I should stop appealing to your sense of self-decency because... It's clear to me you guys want me to go insane playing this. And so, insanity is indeed what we are going to invoke here as we go forward. With the game that apparently a knife is my most deadly weapon, even though I now have a shotgun. We finally made the shotgun, this pea shooter was absolute garbo. People told me maybe it's possible for you to aim up. For the head. No. Yes? No? No. Yes! Okay. But wait! We're also back in the laboratory, which apparently we have to go through here to get to the airport, which is apparently where our... Silencer. Where our husband, the no-good cheating scumbag, and our daughter are at. Yeah, we could... Hmm, there's items in here to acquire, but uh, we need a code. We don't got a code. So for now, we continue. We're in floor two, genetics, and uh, what is that? Eco, ah, what? <laughs> We're in floor two. Oh, oh, floor two, genetics. Okay, zombie, I was not ready for your freakish appearance to show up here. Look at that, see? The knife already took part of her face away. Although at some point, you know what? Ooh. Oh, she gave us an extra twitch there. At some point, I should probably just try to take a test shot at the head just to see. Uh, you don't look like a zombie. You're not gonna turn behind me, are you? I do want to take a test shot at a zombie, so if I can get one somewhere... No zombies here left, though. Just to see how the gun would work if we aim at the head. Hector. Dr. J is a genius. I can't believe this is working. It's getting difficult to keep this a secret from the others upstairs. Maria in particular is asking too many fucking questions during our weekly meetings. Where the hell are you guys going all the time? What are you guys working on? Why do you guys never turn in any work? Am I the only one working here? Why is everyone so lazy? Unbelievable. She just won't shut up. But Dr. G is definitely fed up with her. They're constantly fighting during the meetings. I have to go back to work. We're about to test this gene on a human. It's gonna change everything. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna change everything, alright? And once again, we need another code. Here, there's no trick or at least to solve a puzzle solution nearby. By the looks of it, there's a weird little symbol over there. That's about it. Oh, wait, wait. It could be symbol related. Here we go. Theodore, if you're still alive, I'm getting the hell out of here. If you need my key, hard for you know where. It's hidden inside a vending machine on this floor. Code is 1986. Good luck, my friend. 1986. All right, so I know where that one's at. What is this? A door? Or no? It's a cabinet. Up, 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 up. Speaking of which, um, people asked, uh, because <laughs> I mentioned the last video about Red Colony 2, whether I'd cover that afterwards. Uh, it's on the Switch right now. I could, I could record it off the Switch. It's just kind of annoying to, you know, um, record things off of console. It's so much easier on PC. So I might do the Switch version, or I might just wait for Red Colony 2 to show up on PC. I'm not really sure just yet. You guys let me know. Do you mind waiting? Would you rather... We play Red Colony 2 sooner. I'll leave it up to you guys. So this said what, 1986? It seems like I need to combine two pieces to form some sort of key. I wonder where to use it. It's literally right there. 3879. I assume that's what it is anyway. Oh. The key for the secret lab needs to be assembled at all times. You and Theodore can only access the lab together. Thus you keep one part. Dr. J. Okay, so we're floor one, admin, and reception area. Zombie? Yes. Okay, let's let's test out the gun fun. Let, let's see. We got 19 bullets for it anyway. Yep, um... Gun is just garbage. And... Oop! Is that the key part? It looks like the key part. Why is it jabbed in this guy's back? Yeah, there it is. Alright. Why would it just be jammed here? Any node? Huh. I don't know. 
So both of them require level force. And mmm, uh, there it is. Down here. Floor zero. It's hopefully where we get the key card for level four. Oh no. Oh, okay, we finally, I think, got some different type of zombie. That one looks, uh, twitchy. Very twitchy. I'm not sure if the knife is probably the best solution now at this point. We can go downstairs right now, too. Beyond level zero. Do I, do I need to anger this man? It doesn't seem like he's blocking anything in particular that I need. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's nothing over there. I'm not gonna mess with him. I'm not. It's a survival horror game still, you know, you don't kill every single zombie you see in the Resident Evil games. You try to avoid as much as possible. USB for a save, that makes me happy. They're working on Tyrant back here, aren't they? Oh, oh, oh. Don't just pop up that way. Scare the hell out of me. Jill, have you reached the airport yet? I'm at the lab? You won't believe what I've found. What? You said you were going straight to the airport. Well, I got sidetracked. I found a secret underground lab, Jill. This must be where Dr. J and his team have been hiding. You can't be serious. This must be where it all started. It's a goddamn mess down here, and some of the zombies here look really strange, even for some zombie standards. What do you mean strange? Sharp teeth, scaly skin, and making weird noises. I think Dr. J has been experimenting on these people for a while. This is so screwed up. OMG, Maria, get out of there now! I can't. I need a level 4 security sim to exit the lab. I need to find one first. Be careful. Oh. Ooh. There's a ladder there. I don't know if this game takes sound into consideration. Like, if I creep, will he notice me? Because if he does notice me, then it's going to be hard for me to get up and run. Is all I can tell you right now. The moment I saw that icon, I started mashing like no other. We're upstairs now. Oh, there he is. Oh, that one's gonna come loose, isn't it? It's either gonna come loose and attack me as I walk by. Maria. Oh, it's you. You're Dr. J, aren't you? <laughs> oh. What the hell's going on down here? What the hell have you done? Oh, Maria. You're still alive, I see. Well, where to begin? From the start would be a good idea. Well, I doubt you will make it alive, so what the hell? Of course, this is the part of the game where the villain tells you all of his plans and exactly how for you to stop them. You see, Maria, about a hundred years ago, the first generation of Mars colonists found something. A raptor in perfect condition. What? A raptor? As in a dinosaur? Here on Mars? How's that even possible? Earth and Mars used to be one planet. However, 50 million years ago, Planet X... Planet X? Like Nibiru? Dude, I haven't heard about that freaking meme end of the world theory in ages. Well, it's unclear if it was Planet X or an enormous asteroid. To this day, we can't be sure Planet X is real. Anyway, whatever it was, it crashed into our home planet and it split into two. Our ancient planet split into what we now know as Earth and Mars. Mars, much smaller, was sent outwards in the solar system while Earth was sent inwards. Even, the most, even though most dinosaurs died during the impact, some survived for a short period of time, both on Earth and Mars. As you probably know, some of these creatures are still alive on Earth today. Just much, much smaller. What about the dinosaurs who were stuck on Mars? Well, the dinosaurs stuck on Mars either froze to death or died alongside all their life as the atmosphere dissipated. What? This can't be true. Think about it. When Earth and Mars were one planet, its gravity was 50% lighter, its atmosphere 40% thinner, and its landmass 30% bigger. It had the perfect conditions for dinosaurs to thrive and grow, as large as they did. Earth and Mars? One single planet? How come no one knows about this? Actually, for quite some time, scientists believed the life on Earth originated on Mars, even though they lacked the proof of this hypothesis. They were not far from the truth. If Mars and Earth were the same planetary body in the past, surely there would be some visual proof. 
Yes, there should have been and there was. The collision with Planet X caused enormous scars to both Mars and Earth. However, these scars have healed over the past 50 million years. They can't be spotted easily since planets tend to shape themselves to spears over time. The scar left on Earth is almost healed, thanks to the constant shifting of oceans and tectonic plates. If you strip away the water from the Earth, it becomes clear where the scar is hiding. It is right underneath the Pacific Ocean. Meanwhile, here on Mars, the scar is easily spotted this way. Correct. Valles Marineris, the largest canyon in our solar system, is that left of the impact. This... this is incredible, but what the hell does that have to do with the zombie virus? Everything! I need to know more, Dr. J. I'm being blamed for all this. I need to know what happened. Fair enough. You won't be alive to tell the tale anyway. Well, we'll see about that. My intention was not to create a zombie virus, Maria. I intended to clone a dinosaur using DNA from a raptor fed on Mars all these years ago. You meant to clone a dinosaur and ended up creating a zombie virus? There is quite some middle ground in that statement. Well, we stumbled across the virus when experimenting with chickens. Chickens and... <laughs> Chickens infused with the raptor gene turned out to be very aggressive. We later injected this gene into rats and the results were the same. And then what, you injected this to humans? Maria, do you remember Sebastian? Sebastian the Psycho? Yes, how could I forget him? Well, instead of shipping him back to the blue colony after his breakdown, he was sent here. And you injected him with the raptor gene? Yes, I did. The results were beyond anyone's expectations. What happened? His first system was high fever, itchy skin, blurry vision, and nausea. It looked very painful. Eventually, Sebastian's amygdala region started to grow exponentially. It was almost as if the raptor gene only attacked the amygdala. Amygdala? The region of the brain that processes fear, triggers anger, and motivates us to act? Yes, and also a bloodborne enemy. Exactly! The raptor gene makes this part of the brain grow to the point where any rational thoughts or actions are removed completely. Eventually, the entire brain is so damaged it can barely operate as a human brain should. The only part of the brain that seems to function is the infected amygdala region. Over time, the subjects seem to act more and more like animals, or predators to be precise. They act on instincts and have a, a lust for blood. I have so many questions. I mean, this is so messed up. Dinosaurs, zombies, and angry chickens? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Why did you create the virus to begin with? What the hell were you thinking? The entire colony is about to collapse. This zombie virus was not meant to leak like this. Someone infiltrated our lab and caused this to happen. What? Who? A beautiful lady. A beautiful lady? Who was she? She must know. Everyone knows each other here in the colony. You must know. Everyone knows each other here in the colony. Who was she? She was wearing a lab coat like anyone else, but I've never seen her before, to be honest. I think she might be from the blue colony, but I could be wrong. If this is actually legitimately true, what he's saying, this is, could be the, um... The main protagonist from Red Colony 2, which by the way takes place on the Blue Colony. So it's basically going on at the same time as this is going on, but in the other colonies where something's going on over there as well. That one I believe is more dinosaur related to this one. So whereas this is more Resident Evil, Red Colony 2 is more um, Dino Crisis, I believe. That's impossible. No one from the Blue Colony has been allowed in here for years. She wouldn't be able to get past those security checks. Our system is bulletproof. Well, she somehow managed to sneak into the colony, sabotage my lab, cause an outbreak, and as far as I can tell, she's still out there. A beautiful lady in a lab coat, huh? Jill mentioned something about a woman running down the track moments after the outbreak started. Maybe that woman is your culprit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Wait, I have one more question. I have more questions. Come out here, you coward. There's no way I'm leaving this room, especially when you're standing there with a the gun. Until you died like the rest of them, you're on your own. Bye, Marie. It was awful working with you. Oh, look at this guy. Cute pun. Wait! Are oh, you prick? You can't hide in there forever. Eventually, you have to get out here. Well, um... For now, I think we proceed, because... I don't want that zombie right there to get loose. Raptor zombies, huh? <sighs> Ooh. Okay. Chill. Update 1. My final court hearing is next week. I'm doomed. They've already made up their minds. They won't even bother listening to my side of the story. Hurry, James. Make up your damn mind. James, which is, um... Her husband. Yes, James has finally agreed to bring me over the bring me over to the Red Colony and build a secret lab. In return, he will get tons of supplies for his colony and we will bring the raptor gene with us. So Dr. J came originally from the Blue Colony then. And he's the one who also brought the raptor gene with him. Here. 
It should have been impossible, but my team and I made it to the Red Colony. James must have pulled some serious strings to make it happen. It was surprisingly a smooth trip. James' wife, Maria, is a full-blown bee. She's my boss and I have to play nice with her until my lab is done. Irritating, to say the least. Once my lab is done, I will only attend meetings with her once a week. The lab is finally finished and I'm free from Maria's hell. James spent almost all the resources building it, but he's hoping that a living raptor will be worth all the losses. Had a meeting with James. He is planning to sell my any raptors we managed to clone to private companies on Earth. What a fool. He has no idea what he is dealing with. Oh, so this is how Jurassic Park is heard too. Okay, good to know. James is getting on my nerves. He wants results now. But what he doesn't know is that I don't give a shit about any raptors. I'm here to create a virus and unleash it in the blue colony. Those pricks. So he was doing working on the virus, zombie, or anything related to get back at the blue colony then. I've slept poorly the last few days. I can't stop thinking about what that woman did to me. It's unacceptable. The entire colony turned against me. They will all pay for this. Which is probably a reference to the main character from Red Colony 2. We have stumbled across something amazing. A slightly modified raptor gene can be injected in other animals and turn them crazy. We will try this on humans next week. If it succeeds, I will finally have my revenge in the Blue Colony. We injected the modified raptor gene into a test subject, Sebastian Kidman, and the results are spot on. The R virus is a success. We're ready to leave the Red Colony and bring the R virus back to the Blue Colony. Soon they will wish they had listened to me. That bee ruined my reputation and credibility as a scientist. She ruined my life. A woman made it into our lab and released the R virus. She looked like... No, it can't be. We need to contain the spread of the R virus before it's too late. Seems like that woman stole my artifact and assembled the R virus. No time to write. I barricaded myself in my office, but the door won't hold much longer. I need to move my research to the panic room. Damn. There's no way I could grab this thing without learning the zombie, right? Okay, we, I think I think I gotta pop him. I think I gotta pop. Luckily, he's like, you know, in headshot territory, so there's that. Shoot. Oh. Oh. oh my god, he, he's alive and he took off into the ceiling somewhere. I thought the game was glitching out, but no, it wasn't glitching out. It was just him doing weird stuff. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm, I'm not sure if that thing took off to hunt me now, or... What the deal is? Oh, 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 you are... That's actually... One of the better jump scares that... I've ever had, mainly because I honestly did not expect that to happen. Like, it's not something within the game's capabilities that I kind of give it credit for to do. But it actually did that pretty well. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, look, we have... Ooh. We have... We have two doors, right? With level four? So let's try... I mean, this also seems to have an exit sign on it, so who knows what it leads to what. This leads outside. Okay. Just a uh, regular Zamboni, that's not a problem at this point. He has some sort of information pad with him too. Okay. What the hell is this? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. James's data log. Just visited Dr. Jabe at the lab. It's nerve wracking to enter the lab knowing I might get spotted by my wife. She finds out about this secret lab. Anyway, Dr. J is slow. I want results now. But it's taken so long. I've spent so much resources at this secret lab. Worse yet is that I'm not allowed to enter the fucking lab that I built. Chanting with Dr. J is the in the lounge where my wife might walk through at any moment. It's just too risk. I want to meet him at the mall, but then... Emily might run into us. That could get awkward really fast. Tomorrow's the 100th anniversary of the colony and Maria's gonna spend it with Jill partying all night. That's bloody perfect. I'll have Emily over for myself. I can't wait. Emily is such a wonderful woman. Smart, hot, good with kids. Diana loves her too. I just wish I had the boss to tell Maria to screw off. Damn, Maria ruined everything. Just work, work, work. Always angry, complaining, takes zero responsibility at home. I wonder if she has any clue. I keep on using the same excuse over and over. We have a meeting tonight, call Emily. Oh wait, the meeting got cancelled, I'll go home to Diana and Emily. How does she buy that crap over and over again? She prioritizes her job over her family to the point where... I don't know. Tomorrow I will tell Emily that I love her, and that Maria is dead to me. 
From now on, it'll be Diana, Emily, and I. I can't wait to start off. It'll be perfect. Skate for life. Uh-oh. What is that thing on this dude's head? Is that like a groat or something I could shoot and destroy? I, I, I don't know. We also have this, which, uh... Oh, you know what? 8469. <laughs> Skate for life, number 69. 8469. Cute. Let's go. Oh. Is that it? We're at the airport. All fares are cancelled. Yeah, we made it. The first subway station in the colony. The only way in and out from here. Alright. So this is where we should find James and the daughter. And our conclusion as well. Go up and there's a door here. Please be a safe room. Um... That one looks part. Like, it doesn't look like he's gone through the complete raptor thing, but his eye does kind of look raptor-ish. I mean, as long as he's not faster than the regular zombie, we should still be able to hopefully take care of him. Yay. This is fine, so... No problem. How is this? Lockdown activated. Insert coils. Oh, six coils? Um... <laughs> I only got three. Okay. So... Door there. Seems to possibly lead outside. Bullets. And departure. Whoop. Safe spot. Happy about that. We could probably craft a couple of things now as well. Did you make it to the airport? Is it safe over there? I just arrived and it seems to be safe. There might be zombies on the second floor at the check-in gates, though. Are James and Diana safe? Apparently the aircraft is full of people, so Diana should be on board with James. It's just sitting there. Waiting like an island surrounded by a sea of sharks. Oh crap. You need a level 5 security sim to launch the aircraft. There is one in my office, but it's on the opposite side of the check-in gates. Right where the zombies are, so be careful. OMG, Jill! You're my hero. You're going to end up saving us. Hold on, hon. Did you find any energy coils so you can reactivate the subway? I want to get the hell out of here as well, you know. Um, I didn't find enough of them. But there should be one in the storage room. Are you sure you don't have enough of them? No, I need six in total. I see. Um, so this is it then? I'm sorry, babe, but to be honest, I asked you to come with me. Can't you come back for me? No, I can't go back, and Diana's right in front of me. I need to look for, I need to look for her. I see. You still there? Okay, so I'm confused. I'm trying to figure out whether the game is literally letting me know you have missed out on saving Jill, or if it wants you to think you've missed out on saving Jill for something down the line eventually. It could be either way, really, to be honest with you. Because when I think about it, I felt like I went through every part of this game. There was one part I didn't go back to, I will admit, which was early on in the housing areas. Remember that elevator in the yard somewhere that apparently we were collecting keys behind safes to go down into. I never went back there and the game kind of pushed me onto the next area and I couldn't go back afterwards. So assuming that was one of the coils there, that would have been number five, but we still would have been missing a sixth one if that was really the case. So I'm not sure if it's the game messing with me or I really did miss out on saving Jill. If I did, well, that's a shame. That's a damn shame indeed. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make some items here, assuming I could afford them. And we're going to wrap it up here, and next time around, we'll come back, and since we're in the last area, I imagine next video, we'll wrap up Red Colony. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, and to be honest with you, this episode, at least when it came to story, it was crazy. But it actually did kind of wrap everything up a little bit nice, you know? Like, it explained the virus, as crazy as it sounded, and it is, it actually did explain it quite well. So, I'll give you guys credit for telling me to push on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one. Should be the finale. I'll catch you then.